Good morning to those who listen. It is October 1st. Can you believe it? It's October 1st. October 1st, 2024, 10.41 a.m. And I woke up a little bit before 10, 10 a.m. And after it was 10.03, the sirens went off. And I'm like, hmm. I remember, you know, they're supposed to do it every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Well, one, it's October now. Do we need tornado sirens in October? <laughs> I'm sure that, you know, there's a chance, but there is absolutely no chance of any rain or anything for the rest of this whole week. So, and we're, we're only getting up to uh, 69 degrees today. Anyway, I thought that was weird that the sirens went off. And they were late. Usually it's exactly at 10 o'clock. This started at 10.03. I thought it was very strange. And then I see these, <clears throat> these two videos, these short videos from Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. Pay attention, listen, be alert. Might want to start getting some things before you can't get them anymore. This is the union boss for the port. Uh, longshoremen, the ones that are going to shut down, lock down all the ports from Maine to Texas. This is very important, and I hope you guys are paying attention. This is the union boss. Let me explain something to you. These people today don't know what a strike is. When my men hit the streets from Maine to Texas, every single port will lock down. You know what's going to happen? I'll tell you. First week, be all over the news every night, boom, boom. Second week, guys who sell cars can't sell cars because the cars ain't coming in off the ships. They get laid off. Third week, malls start closing down. They can't get the goods from China. They can't sell clothes. They can't do this. Everything in the United States comes on a ship. They go out of business. Everything in the United States comes on a ship. Do you guys understand? We have given away our industrial power. Wow. And here was the second video, the short video. They go out of business. Construction workers get laid off because the materials aren't coming in. The steel's not coming in. The lumber's not coming in. They lose their job. Everybody's hating the longshoremen now. Because now they realize how important our jobs are. Now I have the president screaming at me. I'm putting a Taff Harley on you. Go ahead. Taff Harley means I have to go back to work for 90 days. That's a cooling off period. Do you think when I go back for 90 days, those men are going to go to work on that pier? It's going to cost the money, the company's money to pay their salaries. Well, yeah, go went from 30 moves an hour, maybe to eight. They're going to be like this. Who's going to win here in the long run? You're better off sitting down, and let's get a contract, and let's move on with this world. And in today's world, I'll cripple you. I will cripple you, and you have no idea what that means. Wow. So, I don't know how many people are really paying attention. I know it's kind of in the news a little bit, but they're downplaying it like, oh, you know, some a few items might go up in price, and there might be a little bit of uh, a gas shortage, and the gas prices might, might go up a little bit. I think it's going to be more severe than that. It might take, you know, a week or two before it starts sinking in. But eventually, you know, it's kind of strange, too, because uh, if you've noticed Target... And Amazon are doing these sales. Prime member deals uh, October 8th, I think it's through October 8th and 9th. And I think Target's is October 6th. I don't remember the dates. But I think it's kind of weird that these companies and stores are, are uh, having sales. What is going on? It makes me think that, you know, if they're having these sales, maybe they're trying to so I'll get rid of some things, and then there's going to be a bigger shortage. I don't know. It's just it's just weird. But stay alert. Uh, 
you know, if this strike goes on and on, we're talking it could cost the United States $5 billion per day. Can you imagine? <laughs> Where is this money coming from? Maine to Texas, that's half the country's supplies will be stopped. If this strike even lasts a few weeks, it's going to cripple the nation. Anyway, hopefully uh, people will listen and they will get and stock up on some food and water and supplies because you never know, you might not be able to get them anymore. Thanks for watching. God bless.